Sean Carter was a 23-year-old junior at Midwestern State University living the college dream. On the Saturday night before Easter Sunday in 2005, his life was turned upside down and was forever changed. The first thing he said was, do you have a son named Sean Carter? And I said, yes. And you know, it's the police department, so what's your first thought? I figured he was arrested or something. You know, he'd done something stupid. That's my thought. And the, right away, the guy says, well, I need to let you speak to the emergency room physician. And so the emergency room physician gets on the phone and he starts telling me all about Sean's injuries. And he says that we're, um, we've got to ship him to Dallas. Well, I work for a group of 4,700 ER doctors and one of the hospitals they staffed was Baylor University Medical Center. And I said, well, can he go to Baylor? And they said, no, he's got to go to Parkland. And so my the whole world collapsed at that moment when they said Parkland because Parkland is the premier trauma center in the Southwest, really. And I knew that my son was really, really bad if he had to go to Parkland. Sean was a passenger in a truck that was being driven by a drunk driver. That driver lost control and hit a tree, leaving Sean with a severe brain injury. Sean was left unharmed mentally, but physically unable to walk or talk. Since the injury, Sean and his mother Jenny spend their time talking to students on the seriousness of drinking and driving in hopes that they can make a difference in someone else's life. Everyone can see my inability to talk or walk, and I am really honored that I was invited here to share my message. I stand here in my wheelchair, looking at you, thinking how I was once just like all of you. I was not born needing a wheelchair. Choices I made put me here. We want to open a big exercise facility because Sean improved so much through the exercise that he got that we want to provide that opportunity for other survivors. A lot of people think that however a TBI survivor is at one year is how he'll be the rest of his life and a lot of doctors will tell people that. Where you get in a year is where you're going to be and that is so far from truth so far from the truth so we want to have that opportunity to help others and you know giving them a place to exercise where they feel safe and they can exercise just a place to go where other survivors are we are the luckiest because even though sean can't walk or talk he is the same mentally a lot of people don't have that or they know they have it but there's such a struggle between the new person they are and the way they were that you know they don't have the opportunity to enjoy it the way that we do. But he's such a special person. You know, he's and that smile that you wake up to every day that makes everything worthwhile. Keaton Boyd, TylerPaper.com.